Otherwise, did everything come out okay? Um, actually, no. Both of our meals were super cold when they came out, so... Okay, well, you probably didn't eat it fast enough. Okay, but you just brought this out. There would have been no time for... Okay, well, maybe you should have ordered it sooner. What is that? You took our order and it came out cold. Why is this turning into my fault? Okay, and it's not my fault that you folks came on the busiest night. Okay, I'm sorry, but there's no one in here. Look, if you didn't like our food, you didn't have to come here. I'd really just like to speak to a manager if you're gonna continue speaking to us this way. Is it really that bad? I mean, she's incredibly busy. Do you, I, I mean, I guess, I guess. Hey folks, I heard you're looking for a manager. We're just having a small issue with our food here, but when we, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with your food? Why didn't you tell me I could have fixed it? Okay, so you can handle this? No, I still have a problem. I'm just so sorry. Can I bring you free drinks? Maybe can we get them a free dessert? Wow, you switched up fast. Okay, you want me to throw your ball? Um, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah? Is that your dog? Yes. Has that dog been properly trained? Properly trained for what? To be around all types of animals. You know your dog can't be here unless it's specifically accustomed to being around all types of animals. What does that mean? This is a dog park. Well, I saw your dog eyeing my cat while we were just trying to peacefully read over there and we feel threatened. Okay, but again, you're at a dog park. Oh, and where's the closest cat park? It's not okay to discriminate against cats. I don't understand your logic. I don't understand your logic. You brought a cat to a dog park and now you're yelling at me. Well, I just wanted to let you know that we've contacted the police. Uh huh, great. And what did they tell you? They said that you have to leave. Okay, well, unless someone comes to enforce that, no. Let's go, kitty Karen. Hi, can you tell me how much this is? Uh, it looks like that'll be $5.99. Okay, never mind. Did you not want it? Oh, no, I'm a dollar short, so maybe next time. You know what? Don't worry about it. It's on me. Just have a good day. Wait, really? Are you sure? Thank you. It's seriously not a problem. I know times are tough right now. You are so sweet. Thank you. I can take whoever's next. Oh, I see we're giving out free handouts now. No. Oh, right. And how do I get free stuff too? Not that it's any of your business, but I happen to know that that woman is homeless and the least I could do is spare her a dollar. Aw, how charitable. And does the manager know that you're giving stuff away for free? Okay, that's definitely not what's going on. Because I think they'd be very interested to know that an employee is stealing from them. Your total is twelve fifty seven. Oh, you're not gonna cover my bill. Your total is twelve fifty seven. I'm still waiting for my discount. <laughs> I need security to the front. I got a woman trying to shoplift. I need a new room as soon as possible because mine smells like cat pee. Oh, I'm so sorry. What room? Room one twelve. I would like myself and all of my personable belongings escorted out of the room, but do not touch anything. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry. The room was cleaned before you came in, so I just don't understand. <sighs> yep, this is an embarrassment. I did Facebook Live everything, so all of Rhode Island did hear about this. Okay, so I do have a room available. Um, it looks like it's on the floor right above you. Sorry, I'm hearing things. Um, perfect. <clears throat> Weird question, do you have a cat? Uh, yes. I see, okay. Ma'am, we do not allow pets at our hotel. Well, that's ridiculous, why not? Well, we wouldn't want the rooms to smell like cat pee. Well, that chick's got her dog over there. Oh, well, you see, that's a service animal, so that's not just her pet. Okay, so just because her dog was in the military means it gets special treatment? No, it didn't serve in the military, it's a service animal. Well, my cat was in the Air Force. Samantha, we're in a restaurant. Please put the texting away. Do you know what you're gonna order? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do their veggie burger. Hmm, it looks like they also have chicken and salad and rice. Yep, we're reading the same menu. Your meal comes with a lot of potatoes. Exactly. Now, where is this waitress? I feel like we've been waiting here forever. It's not a big deal. It looks like they're super busy anyway. Well, I see three empty tables right here. Okay, and 25 full tables over there. Thank you so much for being patient. Here are your drinks. Whoops, didn't mean to spill that. Let me get a napkin. <sighs> Come on. Oh, it's fine, no big deal. Do you need some help? Our entire experience has been ruined. I am so sorry, ma'am. Let me get this cleaned up for you guys right away. Mom, it's fine. You know, I'm paying a lot of money to eat at this Red Robin, so I expect A quality service from you. Mom, let's get you some treaties. Hi, happy Halloween. That's so cute you brought your cat. What a coincidence. I'm sorry, did you actually think this outfit was appropriate tonight? Um, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you not know what cultural appropriation is? Yes, and what does that have to do with cat costumes? <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you've ever had to deal with something like this. You've actually ruined my sweet baby's night. I'm sorry, what are you even supposed to be? Do you even have a kid? My sweet baby is right here, and obviously I'm Julia Roberts from Pretty Women. <laughs> okay, well, I only have chocolate and candy. <sighs> she can't have that. 
Okay, well, then I have nothing for her. Sorry. Well, she does like the Friskies party mix and the True Chew chicken recipe. I don't have that. I don't even have cats. Why would you even dress up as a cat if you don't have cats? Because I thought it would be cute. It's disgusting, and we're calling PETA. Get off my property. Who are you? Oh, my name is Sam. It's my first day. What can I get you? Oh, um, odd. I'll be getting my regular. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I'm new, so I don't know what your order is. <sighs> well, can you just go ask the girls in the back then? Or you could just tell me what it is. Oh, whoops. I don't think you're in any position to be talking to an executive coffee drinker like myself, so go get the girls. Okay, there's no one in the back. It's just me. What can I get you? Did you say this was your first day? Because it's about to be your last. Go get a manager. Be right back. That little girl does not know who she's messing with. Ugh, not this woman again. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, thank God you're here. This new girl is targeting me and she's refusing to give me my order. She won't even tell me her order. Well, I made my request and you refused, so... So, what is your order? Well, Tammy, you should know. I'm a regular here. Yeah, we have a lot of regulars. Tammy, don't make me call corporate again. Hi, did you find everything okay today? Sweetheart, I just waited seven and a half minutes in that line. Yeah, this line's been pretty long all day, but, you know, we've been trying to move- Wait, I don't want those two things in the same bag together. I need you to separate them. <sighs> okay, not a problem. Oh, and I have a 20% coupon for one of those uh, stores down the road, but you guys will take that, right? No, if it's from a different store, we don't take that. <laughs> anyway, your total is going to be ninety fifty-five. Did you say nineteen fifty-five? Oh no, no, no! I said ninety fifty-five, like on the screen. Oh no, that can't be right. The computer is correct, so. Um, well, your prices here are absolutely horrendous, and I don't know why I come. So your total today is going to be ninety fifty-five. Oh well, here's that coupon. Ma'am, this is a blue cloth. <sighs> this is why your line is so long. Oh, shiitakes. I forgot my wallet in the car. I'll be right back, okay? I got a whole line of people waiting. I, I can't just hold your... No, no, I'll be right back. Just two minutes. Two minutes, everyone. Okay, wait. No, no, ma'am. Oh, seriously? I don't have time to wait on this woman. I know, I'm sorry. If she didn't have so many things, I would just cancel it. I mean, who cares? She's the one that didn't have her stuff. We're all ready to go. Why should we have to wait on her? Yeah, I don't see her coming. I'm just gonna cancel it. Is this gonna be it for you? All right, two ninety five. Go ahead and swipe. All right, have a go one. I'll take who's next. Oh, excuse me. I am back. Sorry about that. Okay, ma'am, let me just finish checking out these people and then I'll get with you, okay? No, no, no. Remember, I was just here. I needed you to wait for me. Yep, and I had a really busy line and I had to get all these people through. So if you want to get behind them. It's not like I'm trying to skip the line. I just forgot my card. Yes, but everyone else in line was prepared and you were not. Back when this place first opened, this would never happen. Thank you so much. Hello? Yeah, hi. I just got an update saying that my order was picked up, but you're still in the parking lot? Y yeah, I just got back in my car. I have your food. I'm about to- I need you to pick up the pace. Okay, well, my ETA is 10 minutes, so I'll see you then. 9 minute and 55 second timer starting now. Okay. <sighs> so weird. Hello? Me again. I know that the highway is typically faster, but I'd rather you take Spruce Street. Ma'am, I'm following my GPS, so if you want me to get there on time, please stop calling me. And since you're having trouble with basic accommodations at this job, I want to make sure that you read the directions carefully and you're going to knock when you get to my home. I saw that. I will do. So, would you want me to stay on the phone with you until you get here? I would not. Goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello? Your knock was so loud it actually woke up my child. What the f- Oh, I thought I saw new neighbors. Yeah, hi, we just moved in yesterday. Oh, how fun. Well, I just wanted to stop by and introduce myself. My name is Mary Elizabeth Crusader. I live right across the street over there, that big one. If you need anything, don't ever hesitate to ask, okay? Oh, well, thanks so much. It was nice meeting you. Oh, and I did just want to point out to you that your mailbox is a bit dirty, and the neighborhood does require that there is less than four specks of dirt on our mailbox at all times, so you will have to take care of that soon. Oh, um, yeah, I'll get on that. That's kind of the last thing I was- Oh, I get it. I totally get it. But I also wanted to let you know that you have red mulch chips that are protruding into the grass, and that is a big no-no. You'll have to take care of that, too. Okay, that seems ridiculous. Are, are you, like, neighborhood watch or something? I oh, no, I'm just a friendly neighbor. Also, I need you to have your lights off in your home by 10 p.m. every night. Okay, so these rules aren't real. These are just your weird guidelines. Okay. Well, I do have the most tenure in this neighborhood. That's why they call me the neighborhood veteran, so it is expected that you do what I ask. Right, okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now I'm not gonna do that. I can help whoever's next in line. Got any two-for-ones? 
on the ice cream? No, but if you'd like, I can- Is this the kind of place that charges extra if I want extra toppings on my ice cream? Yeah, that's pretty standard, unless you pick one- Well, I'm not supporting that. What's the cheapest thing you have here? Probably just plain vanilla ice cream in a cup. Yeah, whatever. How much is it? Uh, looks like $2.99. What? That other girl never charges me this much. All right, and here's your plain vanilla in a cup. Really? That's it? <laughs> okay. Because that's what you ordered. Thanks for coming. I can help whoever's next. Excuse me, I need to make a complaint about whoever made my ice cream. Okay. The girl who made it lied to me and told me she was going to fill it with all different chocolates and creams, and she filled it with nothing. It was just a plain cup. I want a refund. <laughs> that's no problem. I'll just need the original ice cream back. Oh, well, I ate it. Oh, well, now I can't refund it. I don't understand. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain.